there are many companies that have their SIM system, security, information, and event management, collecting logs from things like Active Directory, like uh, mail servers, SAP, and other corporate applications. Uh, they collect logs, maybe not an at end flow, but they collect logs from firewalls and other devices. But there is one piece that it's quite often neglected or left aside, which is the mainframe, which typically runs the most critical applications that the company has. Well, what's the problem? Why why doesn't SIEM take that uh, information? Well, in the mainframe, everything gets logged in the form of SMF record, which are not naturally easy to consume by uh, an SIEM. Even to get them, it's not easy. And if you get them in the SIEM, it's not easy to make sense of what is it that something bad that is happening on the mainframe. There's also ZOS misuse that uh, you need to assume that it's not really happening, uh, that it's really secure, but you cannot really monitor that, and many people wish they could. Uh, CICS and IMS events, uh, communication manager, communication server, sorry, uh, events, uh, same thing as uh, Linux and uh, Unix subsystems. I'm missing all that in my SIM. What about RACF or ACF2 uh, information? How do I bring that and make sense to the mainframe? Well, bringing all that just in raw format to the SIM, again, the SIM not only will be overwhelmed with everything that is there, but it doesn't know how to make sense out of all that. Enter Z-Alert, which is a standalone component that gets installed on the mainframe that is very easy in the same way that you set up like a firewall that say, well, I want to know when this and, and that things are really happening. Same thing, you easily configure Z-Alert as an agent, so to speak, of, the, of your SIEM uh, installation uh, to notify you about all these things that can be happening on the mainframe and, and, and even more than that I put on the list. And how does the Z-Alert sends that information to the mainframe? Well, Z-Alert has the capability of sending SNMP messages or even syslogs, if you prefer, that the SIM can easily consume. And in that way, you can bring to your SIM all the information that is on the mainframe. And you can rest assured that all your infrastructure, including the mainframe, which is very key, is well represented on your SIEM.